Hello comrades and welcome back to the second episode of the second season where I play without money and <laughs> so full loans. That last season I make no loans, this time it will be full loans. So stay with me. Okay, let's assess the situation a little bit. We are on the good old starting map. As I said, I played on this map several, maybe hundreds of hours. So I know it quite good. Uh, I think you should know it too, but let's look at the resources and what our options are. Coal is a necessity, but uh, yeah, a little bit mid to late mid game. I would say for early game, it's a little bit uh, too little too late. <laughs> Same goes for iron. Coal and iron go together. Yeah. If I want to have a steel mill, I would go where coal and iron is. For the for our start and for the first 10 years, uh, don't think we will tap into iron. The oil. Yeah. We have a big oil patch here, which is nice. We have also some oil here. Let's see. Here's oil. Here's one border. What I need is Soviet border. Let's see. Yeah. No Soviet border for me. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is too far away. Otherwise, this would be a nice, also a nice oil patch to exploit <laughs> yeah this one is a big oil field but only um, at the at the western side and with western dollars we cannot buy everything there are big holes in the supply mm. most of the rest of the oil is land inwards this one is a big one but yeah here's the border Let's take a look. Here's the border. We need to cross this one to tap into this oil field. Uh, doable, but not very pleasant. Hmm. It's also a feasible starting location. Are we on pause? Because I don't want to yeah, go further into the game <laughs> yeah no but yeah no yeah no rather no than yeah the other one is this one here this is this is where we'll start i think so oil is all around this lake and in the lake i think yeah biggest patches in the lake and here is a rather nice, not not so super nice, but okay-ish border post. We need to cross one hill. We are here in this lake. Ah, oh. can use this one. And this one is a little bit closer to that one, which I will come with in a minute. Yeah. Mm. I will take some measures because um, time and also distance is money. I think this is far, clo far, far, far better. This border, yeah. Um, rest of the resources, uh, uranium, uh, rather not, but bauxite. Bauxite is the second best thing we can tap into, and we cannot export uh, tons and tons of oil because. Uh, the game get tired of my exporting and the prices will break so <laughs> um, I need to uh, I want to export a good amount but not not break the bank so to speak or break the market so we start with oil and the second thing is we go with bauxite as the uh, as our money cow we have bauxite yeah Here's one of the biggest patches of bauxite, and yeah, this is where I also will go. So, sadly, here's a 
quite big river, so it's not easy to cross. Would be nice if it would be. Um, but this is my second starting location. So my strategy will be simple. <laughs> Go for oil and uh, secure a basic income so my loans will not kill me. And after that, go for uh, bauxite, and after that, go for people. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, more or less, in that case, what we will do. Because rules are, as you have seen, and as if you have no, most likely, no rubles, no dollars, everything I do is on loans, so everything needs to make money, or loans will kill me. I can take 1.8 million dollars per uh, ruble, at the start, and uh, on how much dollars I can take? Ooh, 2.5 million dollars. Uh, how, how I will pay the fact the dollars, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I can take good amount of ruble. I think we will be mostly on ruble because I see no, no, no possibility to pay back the dollars. Maybe we play some dirty tricks. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, and we go here. So here's my oil field, more or less. This is uh, three kilometers. Not so pleasant. Get rid of this. So if I, and this was the stretch. So if I go here. Two point two, but I cannot go straight. So let me go, because first one was straight. If I go like the hills want me to go, so I need to go here. Let's say here, here, here. Give me height lines here. And let's say here. Hmm. So it's uh, 3.4 kilometers. More. Yeah. Ground distance, air distance. Air distance is between the first and the last point. Don't know. Let's take the bigger one. <laughs> Four kilometers. Which is a lot. Let's take a look. No, we take this border post. Okay. So in the first episode, uh, I will start to uh, plan out the the first income, um, take the first loan. <laughs> It'll be a common occurrence. Um, I hate to have loans. First of all, I always forget to repay them, and then they cost more. A second, uh, they put pressure on your playstyle because. Uh, you have always a repayment fee, so let's say here. Um, something like this. Yeah. 120k, uh, so it will, it will take out 10k of uh, money out of my pocket now. <laughs> so that's very unresting or unsettling. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk a little bit, dudes. Hmm. Where's my border post? Everything looks very different here. Okay. So this is our desired place. This is what we need to cross. And here's a sneaky little way. <laughs> Which I will make use of. Let's see. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, no sneaky. Hmm? Am I even not able to sneak a little bit? Oh.
Hmm. I need the power of uh, excavator to sneak my way around here. Cannot sneak. No. No sneaky for me. Okay. So, plan B. <laughs> By the industry. The construction industry. Oh my god. What, what's wrong with you? Thank you. Really. <laughs> Just change the perspective, comrade. We'll be fine. Yes. Okay. Brace for high value entertainment here. Hmm. <laughs> What's your problem? But don't go in one big swoop, go in small swoops. Ah, by the way, uh, thank you, co uh, thank you for your comments. Uh, nice to meet you again, and nice that you joined me on my on my verge. Especially Morgan, which described the situation very good. Um, basically, if you've seen everything in the game, uh, returning to a playstyle where you only go for vanilla, that's also it's a nice sight. <laughs> Oh, the tea came down here. Oh, whatever. Hmm. Well, am I to complain? Um, it has also its nice sides. Just because if you have done everything in the game and seen everything in the game, maybe you want to play something which is a little bit more hmm, comparable, competitive, fun for others to watch. Uh, some people don't use mods, for example, and uh, others. Everyone has its on ideas about mods and uh, what is good and what is not good, what is cheating, what is not cheating. I have said, said for some time, um, cheating, it's a single player game, you cannot cheat in a single player game. Do whatever you like and uh, use whatever mod you like, but every mod, if you, uh, if you start them and want to have a comparable game, let's see if the magic border is connected. Um, if you if you use them and want to have a comparable game, every mod changes the uh, dynamic of your game. There's really no no way around this one. So where do I want you? Maybe a little bit more like here. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. It all will make sense in a minute. Give me... Uh, excavator. And the bulldozer. And high speed. So, like, like I said, uh, Morgan got got it totally right. Uh, if you have seen everything and uh, seen the sugar and icing and creaming of the game, and I think mods keep the game alive. Um, it it really does. So, thank you all your modders for your great work. I love them also. And but if you start to make something with with the idea what I have make 
make something comparable, make something on a scale you can measure and do something which other people maybe say, okay, it will be quite hard or challenging, I would never do this, I'm not so crazy. Then, well, no mods is a big part of this one. Yeah, maybe he will overtake. No mods is a big part of this one. Because there are mods for everything. If you have a smaller, um, smaller uh, university or a smaller radio station, the goal of my game is build a radio station and crime and justice system in the first ten years. Uh, this one gets meaningless if you build a tiny, teensy, tiny radio station. The challenge is to use the tools what we have and not the tools which are the uh, easiest to make. And as I said, I love the mods. Uh, mods are great. I think. But, um, yeah, not if you go on such a thing. And others have joined me, and I love it. So Kaya Maya has started a season uh, where she started without mods and uh, does a Beatles start with car production, which I love. Um, and she also wants to go without loans. I wish you all the best. Um, Licky started one or two attempts. Yeah, he started also uh, playthroughs. One was a farming only start and another was a <laughs> people only start and uh, it starts to be comparable. You can always take a shortcut and uh, install your mods or use your mods. Really no problem. You cannot cheat to no one. Okay. We have now our construction fleet. <laughs> Not this button. Um, give me this button and this button and make it on pause. So we have uh, free, a little bit of free excavating for the moment. But if we go out of pause, I think they will run out of fuel and everything is done. So let's enjoy it as long as we have it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So let's see how far our uh, services go. Do we have some service here? Mm. Yes, okay, nice. Nice. So, mm. 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 I want to have a shortcut here. Let's hope it's not bedrock. Game does not want to have me. Go away. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh no no. It's a little bit too hilly. No shortcut for me? Come on, just a little. If you start to have an angle where you can grab the hill by the hillside, you can cut through it. Backer up, comrades. The communists are coming. What's here in the way? Thank you. 
looks wild. Oh my god. Yep, I'm sorry for the slow start, but we both have to suffer. Uh, all all <laughs> me and my handsome viewers have to suffer to it. Yeah. See the end of the tunnel. It's usually a good idea if you don't. Uh, so the game works like this: uh, it has a fixed starting point, and the level you go, it tries to uh, make a slope to the point where to the end point, so to speak. It will not go, so it will not move the level here, but it tries to move the level here to a proper slope. Sadly, the roads is the only tool you can use to make uh, slopes. The other tools are not so great for slopes. Um, and also the road tool gives you sometimes headaches. Because either it makes the slope the wrong way around, or it makes some stupid humps. <laughs> the humps most often happen if you try to make connected roads so I always try to make some uh, disjointed so I if I am in um, very very uh, hard terrain I make disjointed parts of the road so that let me see where this one will come out Okay. This one looks a little bit strange. Yep. Yep. So, to make it short, the road tool is, can be a bitch. <laughs> really does. Um, but, uh, yeah, after several hundreds of hours of gameplay, uh, you will come to... Uh, Accept it. <laughs> I think it's the best word for, for the situation we have with the road tool. Um, and learn to deal with it, and that's fine. Let's see. Let's see if we get a nice ramp or if we get something totally stupid. Oh, that's, that looks nice. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Uh, mic cable makes me headaches, which is also why the bad sound quality in the first video. Um, I hate it. Uh, I had a nice mic and I sent it in because of a uh, short circuit. A short circuit or loose circuit, loose contact, and um, now I've got a replacement, and it's awful. <laughs> Don't know what I want can say. Uh, it's very, very uh, unpleasant. Yeah, I was I was very happy with my f f of the first version, and now they made a new revision, basically. And the new revision is far worse than the one I had before. Yeah, stupid capitalism. Okay, so let's uh, scout for our oil field. Where do we want to go? Hmm. This looks green and healthy. Let's say 70%, yeah. Percentage is not the most important thing. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, percentage is not the most important thing because uh, of the strategy I will apply to get make money out of the oil field. Um, you will see it. Should we get rid of the hill or not? Not sure. Using the natural terrain is usually not a bad idea, because if you start to flatten, as I said, you make humps and uh, yeah, some situations harms are good and others not so much. Like this one here. For example, steep. Do we get rid of this one? So this is a yeah, typical road tool hump. It will stay in there. Don't worry. You simply go a little bit before the hump, start to flatten after the hump, and hope for the best. <laughs> Never, if you start, if you try to uh, get rid of the hump while you have a connected road, forget it, comrade. This is. Uh, can. Uh, provide deep personal issues uh, question your choices in life so let's hope this one is halfway decent yeah welcome to the highway okay let's see if we can make it super nice First part for sure not. Mm. Sure off here. Kill this. Do that. Okay. Yes. So. Do I have? Oh no! No! <laughs> no asphalt for me! <laughs> Comrade, where do you live? We are no asphalt people. Yeah, yeah. The little things. <laughs> okay. Was so nice, we did it twice. <laughs> yeah. Asphalt is totally not necessary. We are no year 1960. We have no fast uh, vehicles. We won't have fast vehicles for a long time. Uh, last playthrough, I also don't didn't miss asphalt in any way. Um, it's a long-term project to lay somewhere asphalt. Not for us. We have other problems like no money, for example. Yeah, good luck connecting this one. Okay.
Let's be very, very... Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will build a, a third parallel road. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay. Um, next one is... Uh, we need to connect the, the road to make it one big endeavor. Okay, so is it one big endeavor? Looks like it. Yes, let's be very, very sure. Yeah, okay. Good. So where is my this road? Maybe I keep it. But where is my my construction crew? Yeah, hello. Let them drive home. But uh, oh oh <laughs> oh oh! <laughs> I don't think they will come home. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> this one is uh, no no okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> they are lost okay but it's no problem I simply get me a new bulldozer whatever we have money <laughs> no we don't hmm Okay, let's start a little bit with a serious business here and um, construction office. And uh, fuel station, which uh, my crew at the end of the world will not enjoy. Let's get rid of the mods. No, 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 no. Let's use this button. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, nice and clean. <laughs> uh, fuel station. How many work days are you? 3000, okay. So I want um, a second bulldozer maybe. And um, how many dumpers? We need them anyway. Let's say three. Oh, yeah. One, two, three. And here we get ourselves some mini buses. Ignore the horse carriage. One, two, three. Okay. And we need a road depot. Okay. Let's make the terrain a little bit more smooth before our uh, road crew gets out of business. <laughs> Can happen any minute now. And a little bit flat. Flat. Yeah. Okay. 
should be fine. Okay. And give me a... Oil. Have I bought a oil tank? I don't think so. And an oil tank. Okay. Go out of auto search and show your materials from the border. No, <laughs> what? <laughs> distribution office I need. Okay. Um, distribution office. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is where we uh, stop this episode. These are the things I need for oil. The preparations uh, to diggy diggy dig through the mountain and go here and hopefully have one big... Yeah, <laughs> here they start. So I want to have one big uh, road and to be as fast as possible because Time is money, especially now, because every money I borrow uh, will go away. <laughs> so, <laughs> 60,000 <000 now. laughs> now. We start with 120. Uh, the longer I take, uh, the faster I get out of money. So I need to be fast. Yeah. This is why I have the mini buses, uh, which will help me in the later constructions. But I need people to uh, support this mis business here. So they go as fast as they can. Because uh, it is one big piece, the end of the of the construction is here and they will load everything in between. Yeah. So this is the first step of getting rich, guys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope you uh, come with me on the journey, um, on the no ruble journey. And let's hope we will get somewhere. At least in 10 years. If not, not. But I'm... I think we will make it. Okay, have a nice one. Bye!